people come by and they're like, I've been walking by this bench for years. I'm so happy that you guys are fixing it up. And a lot of people who live around here have been like volunteering and I had an entire camp group of like seven year olds today telling me where to tile and helping me tile and asking me what tiles are made out of. When the rolling bench was completed in the early 1970s, it stood as the largest public art project in U.S. history. Designed by artist Pedro Silva and sponsored by City Arts, a nonprofit organization, the mosaic covered benches were built by children from the surrounding neighborhood. Now 35 years old, the 17 benches, which encircle the neoclassical tomb of Ulysses S. Grant in Morningside Heights, are undergoing a restoration. Once again, children and other volunteers are doing all the work, cementing or replacing loose tiles to preserve Silva's colorful images. Silva is directing the project with the help of City Arts, which has now overseen hundreds of local projects that address civil and social issues. The intention of um, National Park Service was to celebrate uh, the 100th anniversary of the Yellowstone as the first national park in the world signed by Grant when he was, you know, president. So I talked to the superintendent, and uh, uh, the, the su- uh, city art suggested that I'll do a payment. Uh, but the intention of the project was to make this place more frequented by people. But it was a very unsafe place, and the intention of the park was to make this a place that is safe and frequented by people, used by people. So they wanted to see something that will enhance the the plaza as well as it will call attention to the community. So I said the pavement, nobody's going to see it, you know, it's on the ground. So let's make something bold, and from the top of my head, let's make benches Mm -hmm. (laughs) with mosaics. I came and and built the thing. (laughs) 